Hello, all you space engineers out there. Commander Kingfish here, and it is day 15 here on planet 26. So today we're going to try to totally get the uh, uh, drone facility completed. Now I have a lot of little things I need to do. Uh, I've decided again. Uh, let's do this, and I've decided to to paint the that next row down uh, I think it will look better and so uh, it just kind of looks incomplete there so if we do this let's go ahead and paint this across just something about uh, under under those windows it just kind of just doesn't look quite right looking at it so I think doing it like this Oh, let's get a little closer there. There we go. Uh, getting this all painted. And then I missed a row of armor somehow up above. So I need to get that done. And... We're just about done with this. And one more. That somehow that just makes that look better. If you look under the windows, uh, it just seemed like it was, uh, I don't know, just something not looking quite right. And then you can kind of look up above, you can kind of see up there where I forgot to put that armor on. Uh, so let me see, do I have steel on me? I have some, but uh, we'll grab grab that. Uh, I also did a little bit of testing, and one of the things I need to do is move this back one block so that I can place my projector right under this beam, and then that will uh, fit in there. Uh, so let me grab some steel, and... Uh, there we go. And there we go. That should give us more than enough. So we'll head on up. I probably am going to have to put some sort of scaffolding. I don't th think I can get to it very effectively. Uh, well, you know what? I think there might be a problem putting that scaffolding up. It'll go there. Can we go down? No. Alright, so this is going to be a bit of a challenge. What if we do it like this? If we can kind of put something out right here, and then we put something right here, and in order to do that, we're going to see if we can kind of drop down over the top here. That will go there. Just something so that we can get out and place those metal... Uh, let's put one more here. And then we'll put one right here. And... I don't know. See, that's the problem right there. I can't... But maybe I can actually from here... Let's try, let's do this. Let's see what I can reach. Uh, we put that there. 
There, there, there. And that's about as far as we can reach there. All right. Uh, keep from, uh, see if I can keep from falling off here. All right. Let's go down. Let's go down and below. And see, see, I didn't realize it, but maybe I can reach it. And then I think I can weld it from up above. So let's see something here. Uh, uh, all right, let's see if we can raise ourselves a little bit. That's because that armor plate is there. Alright, let's see if this gets us up high enough. There we go, we got that. Okay, I tell you what, I'm going to finish getting these up. And then uh, once I get those up and in, uh, I've got a couple of other things. I've got some uh, uh, lights. I want to get the lights in. Uh, I've got uh, a beacon that I want to put up above. i got some signage. So i got a few things that I want to get done today. So I tell you what, uh, once uh, I get a little farther along with some of this stuff, uh, I'll catch back up with you here in a little bit. Alright, just a little bit of an update here. I just kind of wanted to show you what I had to do to, to get these up. I built this out and I was able to reach and put those in. Uh, oh shoot, I think I missed another piece there. Uh, let's see if we can get that one in. And I probably don't have any steel on me, of course. Uh, can I still reach it from here? Yeah, so I think I can just grab... I just need one steel plate. Alright, let's see if we can get this up there. Uh, let's get the right one. That's... That's... Is that? That's not it. That is it. Uh, I need to change the color, though. Let's put that there like that. There we go. All right. Now I can go up and show you uh, how I was able to weld those. I saved a couple of those just to kind of show you that uh, uh, you can kind of do some welding on if you kind of get out on the edge a little bit. So if we go up here like this, can we go over here? Uh, and we kind of get over here on so you kind of see that's one that I welded so you can kind of see the white lines so here's one that I have not welded yet oh of course what was I thinking I need more steel plates uh, let me go grab some steel plates and while we're at it I also already moved this back one so let me uh, scroll down here and where's our steel plates? Let me get a couple of 300 of those. And the other thing I'm gonna do is, uh, this is a little close to the building for the drones. I think I'm gonna move this out, this platform out at least maybe two more blocks. And then that'll put it out a little bit farther away from the building here 
And I think that'll give uh, plenty of room for the drones to uh, come in and out without having to worry about uh, colliding in with the uh, building. Uh, so let's get uh, this. Uh, there's that one. There's that one. And there should be one right here. And that's that. So that should have all of them welded up. We'll go down there and take a look. Come on. There. All welded. Alright, well I'm going to take these out and get started on the next project that I have on my to-do list for today. Uh, let, uh, and I'll uh, catch back up with you here in just a little bit. Alright, well, I'm making some progress. Uh, if you remember the the last episode, I was kind of concerned about my hangar doors. Well, I did a little bit of uh, testing on them, and I found that, by luck, I had managed to build these with the right height. So my hangar doors will uh, come down two spaces, and these will come up two spaces, and they'll meet right in the middle. So they're going to work out pretty good. I got the upper ones all in and I just got to do the lower ones. And so that's what I'll start on next. I did get a little bit of signage up. Uh, zero days, of course, without clang. Well, I think it's been a little better than that. I put one there. I, you can see I put one down here and uh, this, uh, I got a, a sign in down over here, uh, construction site, which it is still under construction. Once I have uh, this done, then I'll change this sign. There's another sign I want to put up right here. So, uh, so yeah, that was just a little bit of an update. Uh, once I get these hangar doors done, I'll uh, catch back up with you. And we'll put these in so that uh, we can put a button in for them. I uh, am uh, wondering, I just got a message that they were being attacked. Where are they at? Uh, transport crew requesting clearance, uh, requesting assistance from any passing assault ships were being attacked. Uh, that's one of the stations. I, uh... Huh. I don't know. They're not uh, coming here. I hope they're not uh, shooting up one of my... Uh... No, they're, they're a long ways away from any of those. I don't know what that was all about. I uh, thought we were going to get attacked here, but maybe not. All right, well, I'll get back to building. Well, as you can see, I got the hangar doors built and closed. Now I am to the point that uh, I want to put uh, uh, a button over here that will open and close them. And let's uh, do this. Let me get up to here. And I want... Uh, well, let's do it like this. I want to put one, uh, well, I don't know. Energy low. Let's, uh, 
Good old standard buttons. Uh, let's try this one. And I need interior plates. Actually, let's just do it like that. And what if we make it make it red? Yeah, let's make it red. We'll put it in right there. Let's get back over here. Now, I made. Uh, here, I'll show you. I made. Uh, I identified the the left bottom, the right top, right bottom, etc., etc., and then I made a, a set of hangar doors left and hangar doors right. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to do the uh, top button. Uh, and we want our groups. Uh, we'll make the left one the top one and that's uh, open and close and then we'll make the right one open and close now we should be able to press that one and that should open the left side And then let's uh, press the next one down. And that should uh, do the right side. Perfect. I like it. So we've got, uh, got the hangar doors. Once we build our drones, we'll be able to fly them out of here and get them into action. All right, that was the hangar doors. I just wanted to kind of give you an update, show you what I did on those, and that those are all built. Uh, I think the next thing I want to do is, uh, let me see if I can get my lighting in. Uh, I'll do that next. And once I get all the lighting in, uh, I'll give you an update on it. Well, as you can see, I am getting my lighting in, and I got a conglomeration of scaffolding in. So let's finish welding up the last of these lights. And then uh, we'll take out the scaffolding. And then we'll configure these lights. So that should be it. Uh, pillars, those are in, those are in. Yeah, so we can start taking all of the scaffolding down. So let's do that. This will go pretty quickly. And... There we go, get that all out of the way. That does make it a bit of a challenge, and I like that. I, I actually kind of like going without the jetpack. I've gotten so used to that now that I don't mind it at all. Uh, but you do have to plan and do your scaffolding to be able to get things completed. Uh, okay. There we go. And just get these out of here. Entire clearance for ground installation. Okay. Ooh. He's getting a little close. I just got a feeling one of these days they are going to get a little too close. 
And that's probably this one over here is probably the Monarch Transport. Yeah. I think he's start. Yeah, he's starting to get farther away now. All right. So I've got to. What I want to do is, uh, let's go in and configure these lights. All right. So if we go to the two interior lights, let's select them both. And I want the yellow light from my profile. And I want them a radius of 15. Okay. So that's got those configured. All right, now let's uh, do all of those corner lights. We can do them all at once. I really suppose I should be naming all of this. Do that. Again, we want the yellow lights. Load from profile. And we want those at a radius of four, actually. There we go. All right, we got lighting in here. I like it, actually. I used uh, interior pillars for the uh, for those two lights there, those uh, lights give a little more light. Uh, they've got a farther radius, but by boy, uh, by using 15, it doesn't bleed through the floor. So I think uh, that's pretty good. So that's the lighting. Uh, I think. I think next I need to start. Uh, I'm actually about ready to start building my printer. Uh, I think. So why don't I get started on that? And uh, once I uh, get it in place, uh, I'll catch back up with you all. All right. I think I am just about ready to wrap things up today. Uh, I've got the uh, I got the printer in place. So we've got a console seat here, and what I'll do is uh, next uh, next episode we'll start printing out. So I'll go through all the details of what what I did to set this up, and what my settings will be working here at the uh, console. Uh, but I did get the rotor, the router, the rotor, and the projector in place. Uh, I got my welders in place. And I got my piston in place. And then this is all tied into the material. So hopefully I've got enough materials built for everything that uh, my ships will need. Uh, my drones. And uh, yeah, so I think uh, that will, will, will pick up right there for next week. So the other things I got done was I got the lighting all in. Uh, pretty happy with that. Uh, we got the hangar doors in. And they are working. Uh, if we do that, that closes that one. And that will close the right one. And so those are all in place. I started getting signage up. Uh, so once this is complete, we'll have all of that in place. I still need to put another, uh, another door in right here. Coming up from the outside from that corner. And that will give us the ability to access uh, the interior here from, from the outside. And then we have uh, still have this to do out here. Uh, we also got the additional panels that I had missed. Uh, got those added on over here. Uh, up there across the top. And we painted that, which I think uh, makes that look a lot better. 
So I think that is about going to do it for this episode. Uh, got quite a bit done today. I was pretty happy with what I got accomplished on my list. And then uh, next episode, uh, if everything goes well, we're going to be able to start uh, building drones and really help our uh, ore supply out uh, with the drones. Now that'll be a bit of a challenge. Uh, there's a lot, lot to uh, setting up one of the drones. And so we'll probably have just a whole episode basically kind of devoted to that. All right, all you space engineers out there, if you uh, like this video, please hit that thumbs up. It really helps the video out a lot. And please subscribe. That really helps the channel. And, and with that, all you space engineers out there, keep building away. Uh, keep your heads low and don't get shot. And with that, Commander Kingfish is out of here. And I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone.